Hello everyone, my name is Avina Suryavanshi from class 10th. Today I am going to give you some information about resistance of a system of resistors. The current through a conductor depends upon its resistance and potential difference across its end. In various electrical gadgets, we often use resistors in various combinations. We now therefore intend to see how Ohm's law can be applied to combination of resistors. There are two types of resistors. First is resistor in series and second is resistors in parallel. First we will see resistor in series. A circuit is said to be connected in series when the same amount of current flows through the resistors. In such circuit, the voltage across each resistor is different. Here is a figure for resistor in series. Here resistor R1, R2 and R3 are connected in series combination. For the given circuit, the total resistance is given as Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 till Rn, where Rn is the number of resistors connected in series. The total resistance of a system is just the total of individual resistance. For example, consider the following example. A resistor having an electrical resistance value of 100 ohm is connected to another resistor with a resistance value of 200 ohms. The two resistors are connected in series. Then what is the total resistance across the system? Here, R1 is equal to 100 ohm and R2 is equal to 200 ohm. Therefore, the RS is equal to 100 plus 200 is equal to 300 ohm. Application of series circuit. It is used to protect the circuit while connecting fuses and circuit breakers in series with the connected appliance. Disadvantages of series circuits are, first, if one component in a series circuit fails, then all the components in the circuit fail because the circuit has been broken. Second, the more components there are in a series circuit, the greater the circuit's resistance. Resistor in parallel. A circuit is said to be connected in parallel when the voltage is the same across the resistors. In such circuits, the current is branched out and recombines when branches meet at a common point. A resistor or any other component can be connected or disconnected easily without affecting other elements in a parallel circuit. Here, resistor in a parallel circuit is more complex than resistor in series combination. It is the figure for resistor in parallel. Here, resistor R1 and R2 are connected in parallel. The figure shows Rn number of resistors connected in parallel. The following relation gives the total resistance here. 1 upon Rp is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 till 1 upon Rn. The sum of reciprocals of resistance of an individual resistor is the total reciprocal resistance of the system. Application of parallel circuits include the electrical wiring to the power points in every household is the form of parallel circuits. It means that in our house, it is uh, all the circuits is include parallel circuit. The DC power supply in automobile industry uses parallel circuits. The computer hardware, hardware is designed using parallel circuits. There are also disadvantages of parallel circuit. The equivalent resistance in the parallel connections of a resistor decreases thus. No more current than one source can be produced is obtained. Unless all appliances in parallel have the same voltage, current would flow from one source into the other. This would reduce power. Thanks for watching.